Good morning, everybody. My name is Jody. My husband, David John, and I have a small farm in the panhandle of North Idaho. These are our stories and adventures. And I'm an overachiever. I hate it when my to-do list is still way longer than my to-done list. But wanted to take a break and show you guys what we've gotten done in the last week. And a bunch of it is just been spring cleanup. So I have gone through and raked the garden and this big yard to get the pine needles and the willow droppings and pine cones from the winter cleaned up. I'm on my second burn, but up in the seed shed, I've been hardening off some stuff to go out into the hoop house. So here on the deck, I've got my mini roses, my pansies and Johnny jump ups, some onions and thyme, and my mint and the oregano. And the coolest thing is they're starting to bloom. Pretty little, and it's not going to cooperate. Pretty little pansy blooms. But in the seed shed, oh, let me turn this fan off. In the seed shed, I've got these side windows that I've just been opening up one on each side just to help with airing it out and getting it to dry up in here a little bit but another thing I'm kind of behind on is getting my tomatoes transplanted they're getting super long but get to that but on the germination table the all the different basils have come up and if you can see there's another rosemary coming up finally and a bunch of my flowers have started to pop up it's like those ones are black bachelor buttons. I've got my different kinds of vines coming up. It's like this guy is a cypress vine. So is that one even though its leaves look different in the back is hyacinth bean. And then I've got my got some zinnias coming up and it's like my milkweed needs to get transplanted the echinacea So the main reason I've been hardening those guys off is because I've got all this other stuff that I've got to get up potted and I needed the space. So I'm going to turn the fan back on and we'll go outside and I'll show you a couple other things we've got done. So if you remember I told you I was having an issue with my chickens getting out and I want to show you part of the reasons that I was having an issue because they haven't found been able to get to this but this flower bed in front here is starting to take off it's like I've got some delphinium coming up there and tulips and daffodils and some more delphinium there and I think that's 
my astilbe or one of them but the main reason they haven't been able to find it and get into it <coughs> is we did say we were gonna do a another fence on this gate so we've got the green stakes and they're basically holding up uh, block bird netting and it worked other than I had like three or four hens that still somehow we were getting out so as they'd get out I'd caught catch them and because I was having no luck with just clipping the one wing a friend of mine from work suggested I try clipping both wings he said that he's found on lighter bodied birds that it keeps them from flying and it worked knock on wood it's been about a week and a half since I caught the last one and don't have any chickens getting out still have my couple flying Muscovies that get out but let's look at the hoop house it has been a week and I just was out there and I've got stuff coming up But still don't see anything on the asparagus pots yet. But in here, I've got my radishes are starting to take off. And the little seed or the plugs that I put in some of them are doing okay it's like that one doesn't look that great but that one looks like it might be recovering but over here I've got pak choy starting to come up. None of the other brassicas, but it has only been a week and has been down in the mid to low 30s at night. So as I was saying, one of my to-dos that I'm not going to be able to get to today that I really need to get done is this runway here. I need to get all the pine needles raked up and burnt and this straw and this area cleaned up. Because the grass is starting to grow and I don't want it matted down underneath everything. And then I've got to get that area cleaned up and a fence over the rhubarb or off on top of the rhubarb and put in front of it. And that little rooster that we have. David John named him George, as in George of the Jungle. But let's go over here. So I did get my side of the chicken coop cleaned up after a winter's worth of yuck picked up. So wasn't on my list it just wound up being that way because it was grain day and figured since most of the buckets were empty I might as well fill it but 
walk through the geese for a minute. Yeah. But on that turkey with the injury, I did move her out to the... I did wind up moving her out to the White House just so that way she's kind of with everybody but still sequestered by herself. She has been eating and drinking so it's been over a week so hopefully she's gonna make it. But you remember that Muscovy hen that I told you that was sitting on five geese eggs? She's still sitting on them, but I did candle them last night. And we have three that are definitely fertile and growing baby goslings. The other two, the other two do have veining and everything, but not as developed as the other three. So I don't know if she's going to sit on them long enough to hatch the other two out. And I did wind up bringing their long trough feeder out here from inside there because it's dark and nothing's really in there so it's kind of overrun with mice can't really put bait out or anything for them because the chickens do catch and kill mice and so does Yeti so I figure moving it out here little less protection for, for the mice. But my burn pile is slowly disappearing. And this area over here, I got all the pine needles and everything raked up. And that's what I burnt today was that and the last of the stuff from out front. But over here in this area, you can see how we've got a stake there, and a couple more there. We're planning on putting in another hoop house here. and over here and it will be used for direct in-ground gardening i don't know if it will be this year most likely next because the soil is really poor so we do have to build it up but we plan on using those two hoop houses next winter one for the geese and one for the turkeys just to relieve some of the pressure on the the other two houses in the middle of winter Let's go into the orchard and went through and did a prune job on the apple trees and painted their trunks white. So kind of got this guy top down. That big branch right there. 
it had two big ones that were coming off it and it actually had split so instead of more damage happening I figured I'd just remove it but the got this one trimmed down and I am not an arborist by no means but what I've been told and researched you don't want anything that's growing straight up it really doesn't produce any fruit so I have gone through and topped all the vertical limbs so they will bush out and it's like this guy here probably should have gotten pruned because you don't want limbs that are going to be crossing each other because then they'll just rub and can cause damage so I've gone through and kind of cleared out the center of this one since it does have multiple tops in it and part of that is because all of these are five-way apples and the main reason you want to paint the trunks white as you can see that scaling on the tree that is what is the term sun scald and painting them white you want to use an interior latex and it's 50% latex paint to water and then you just paint it on it doesn't have to be white it can be any light reflective color because you're just basically wanting to reflect the sun off the trunk of the trees So here's this one and then the rhubarb over here this one's really starting to take off but the Christmas tree in the garden David John wanted to possibly remove it so I kind of just trimmed it down trimmed up below and just kind of tightened the shape in and made it so it only has one top instead of the four and I don't really want to get rid of it because this is our first Christmas tree we or it's actually our second our first one didn't make it through the winter so but it's our first living Christmas tree of the family. Got the Christmas lights off it and got it cleaned up. But I did last fall get some garlic and it's a purple Russian, which is a type of garlic that I can get here in North Idaho. And I have it planted in two different spots. got this bed here and it looks like almost all of it is really popping up and then I'd had a few extra that I put in the end of this bed and they're starting to come on so it will be nice to have garlic this year well, just a quick little update of where we're at and what we've got going on. I need to get back to work doing something, but I just wanted to take a quick break and show you guys what we've been up to. So we'll talk to you later on the next video. Bye for now. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Uh -huh.